In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform five camera drone moves that work great in professional productions. I shot these examples using an abandoned schoolhouse in Swan Valley, Idaho, uh, but the subject could be anything. The first shot here is a push or pull shot, and this is where the camera is slowly moving towards the subject or pulling away from the subject. And this type of shot is commonly used to build drama or suspense and also to reveal the environment that the subject is in as you're pulling out. This is one of the easier moves to do with your drone because you're just flying forward and backward using the pitch control, that's that right hand stick, by pushing it forward or pulling back on that stick. The next move is a crane or jib move and it's meant to simulate the movement that you get from a crane or jib. This type of shot is great for adding a little movement to a shot and also for showing large crowds or vast landscapes that your subject is in. This move is done by increasing or decreasing the throttle with your left hand stick and this will increase or decrease your altitude and you can also combine this with some camera tilt to keep the subject in frame. This next shot is called an orbit and it's just like it sounds you're going to circle the aircraft around the subject while trying to keep the camera pointed at the subject. This type of shot adds intensity to your video while emphasizing the subject and showing it from all angles. This is actually one of the harder shots to pull off with the drone and the move uses a combination of both yaw and roll controls. This shot is one that I call the bird's eye view and this shot is looking straight down from above so you tilt the camera all the way down. This is great for revealing or establishing a location. Uh, just like an orbit you can add yaw or pitch or even roll to introduce more movement into this shot. In this example I'm just pitching backward and that adds that movement into the shot. Final shot here that I'll talk about is reveals. So in this shot I'm, I'm pressing up on the throttle to gain altitude and at the same time pulling back on the pitch stick, the right hand stick, to move the drone backward away from the subject. When executing this move it's important to make sure that nothing is behind you such as power lines or trees and you can also reverse this shot to move in on a subject from far away. So those are five of my favorite epic aerial video shots. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how these moves are executed and how you can use them in your productions. So get out there and practice and we'll see you in the next video.